It's called Beating Obamacare. It's about how to navigate the new health care law, and it is on sale now. Betsy McCoy, who was, in my memory, the very first person to start talking about the president's plans for health care. This is back in 2009. Nobody was talking about it yet, and you were sounding this alarm and taking a lot of incoming. And, and here saying, is the law. She's, she's the one who's read it. That's right. Look at that. Look at the dog-eared papers with like the here coffee the stains and on here it. Here is the new book that actually describes it in simple no-spin terms, Beating Obamacare. That looks much more digestible. Yes. Um, so you did not want to see this law passed, but it was passed. And now you feel like people need a guide to how to navigate around it or navigate the pitfalls of it, including specifically, let's talk about it, but let's start with premiums because that's what's in the news, that premiums are already up and they're going up higher. That's right. And there's a simple reason. There is no tooth fairy. Uh, and the new federal rules, some of which have already rolled out, are compelling all insurance companies to offer preventive care without a copay or deductible. So you, when you go to get your mammogram or your colonoscopy, you don't pay extra because it's in your premium. They're requiring that children stay on their parents' plans till age 26. Well, the more you require insurance companies to cover, the more you have to pay for that plan. Mm -hmm. So that's why premiums have already gone up a bit. But you're going to see very large increases in some states. Ohio and Iowa and Idaho and why? Arkansas and Arizona. Because states that had very reasonable rules to keep costs down, right, have had very low premiums compared with states like New York, New Jersey, and Vermont that have premiums more than twice as high as those other states. Mm -hmm. But now the new federal rules that will come into play in 2014 are going to make all the states follow the same rules, and those rules, guaranteed access community rating, which means insurance companies have to sell the plan to the sick person and the healthy person for the same rate. That's going to raise and the rates for all. all kinds of mandates. What about coverage? That's a, a lot of people worried about losing their plan their doctor. Talk about that. That's right. Well, first of all, most Americans get their health insurance at work through their own job or a spouse's job. But in 2014, they are at big risk of losing that coverage because in 2014, employers with 50 or more full-time employees have to provide coverage, and not just any coverage. It has to be that one-size-fits-all government-designed plan that costs about twice as much as what many employers currently offer. So employers are going to say, I can't afford that. I'm going to pay the penalty instead. Or I'm going to push my full-time employees down to part-time status mm -hmm. to evade this law entirely. So if you've got 55 employees right now, you may suddenly want to have 49 and six people could lose their jobs because you don't, you're not covered by Obamacare if you do that. That's exactly right. And many of the big management consultants are predicting that between a third and a half of employers are going to drop coverage. That, that doesn't mean that you'll be uninsured. You won't have that option. You will have to go to a state insurance exchange unless, it, it, unless you are very low income and enrolled right, in Medicaid. You have to get co coverage under you the law. You have to law, get coverage when you file your taxes. Fine. You must attach proof that you have coverage. And how do you help you? I only have 30 seconds left. How, do, how does the book tell people how to navigate? Oh, well, there's a whole chapter on what you're going to do, what your options are if you lose coverage at work. What seniors can do to protect themselves, they're going to bear the brunt because more than half this law is paid for by cuts to Medicare. And seniors have already been warned that some hospitals literally will stop taking Medicare. Where will seniors go when their local hospital stops taking Medicare? Mm -hmm. So lots of those answers are in this book. Well, this does look Beating very Obamacare. digestible. It's not scary. And it is on sale now. Dr. Betsy McCoy.